You know, I was sitting there and thinking, which is something I should not be allowed to do without adult supervision. But there are two things that the prepping community needs right now. Number one, they need cheap solutions. They need ways that the average person can afford to do things. That is harder to do these days when you've got so many channels like Bear Independent, which used to be really based. Now, budget's not good enough. You have to have the top tier or nothing at all. We need to pull ourselves back down a little bit to earth, come up with some solutions that the majority of us can do. Many of us have bug out bags. In our bug out bags, we have meals. You are looking at what I have in my bug out bag for meals, and it's simply three mountain house meals. That's a great dinner. But I was sitting there and thinking, again, without adult supervision, I was thinking there needs to be something there. What about a breakfast? That is what I'm gonna show you a cheap way to make breakfast for your bug out bag if you've already got your dinner taken care of. Let's talk about breakfast and how cheap and easy we can get that taken care of. Obviously, this is a food saver vacuum sealer. There are many like it, but this one is mine. So I came up with a cheap and easy breakfast meal that we can use the food saver with in order to get ready to put in our bug out bag. So you may be asking yourself, what kind of a delicious four course breakfast is Watchmen getting us ready for? Well, to that I would say good luck. But the simple, the tried and the true oats with some sugar, lots of sugar because I'm like that, as well as lots of cinnamon because I'm like that too. So what we're essentially going to do, we're going to package up the oats, the sugar, and the cinnamon, but we're going to do it in a way to keep the sugar and the cinnamon away from the oats. And then we can use it at any time. It can be pulled out, opened up, oats can be cooked, sugar and cinnamon added, and you've got yourself a breakfast. So first off, let me show you that the bags that I have are split. And I'm going to go ahead and get one end of it sealed up and uh, and then I'll come back to you because I'm going to split those apart to do them one at a time. I don't want to try to fight with two at a time. So let me get there and I will see you back. Okay, we've got our handy dandy sealer plugged in and ready to go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make our first uh, seal here for the bottom. So we're going to close the lid, close the latch. We're going to click seal. Seal. No, not the performer. We're talking about the food saver. Oh, it should be sealed. So let's open it up. That certainly looks like a good seal. And I am just for, uh, you know, intents and purposes. I always like to do a double seal just to make sure. So I'm going to pull it down just a hair. Pull the top back down. Hit the seal button one more time. Listen for the music. No, nope, he's not here to perform. We're still talking about a food saver. And now we have a double seal at the bottom. So, you know, my, that's a mighty wide seal you have. Anyway, I know, real cheesy jokes. When it comes to using food savers and food saver bags, sometimes it takes a little getting used to how much bag you're going to need. And you, you can kind of take a little bit of a guess, but that's about all you can do. And my advice is uh, you're better off to be a little long and not waste a piece. So that's the, um, that's the motto we're gonna take. And we're gonna, we're gonna grab a hunk about like this size right here. We're gonna cut that puppy. And then like I said, we're gonna do these one at a time. I'm not gonna try to fight with, with two bags at one time. That would be a little bit uh, cantankerous. So we're going to pull this apart. And all I'm simply going to do is grab my oats here. And trying to do this without getting them all over the table. So far we have only, oh, 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 I was going to brag on myself, we had only lost one single oat. See what happens. 
See why you shouldn't be a braggart? That's why you shouldn't be a braggart. And so we're going to do that just like that. Fun times, fun times. And now while that takes care of the oats, we're going to want our sugar and our cinnamon. They can be mixed together, the sugar and the cinnamon, but we don't want that with our oats. And the reason why is simply because uh, you, you don't want to cook it with your sugar and cinnamon. You want to cook your oats by themselves. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab another piece of this. I'm going to do our, our famous double seal. I'm going to stick our lid down just like so. And we're going to do a seal. Listen for the music. Nope, he's still not here to perform. I know, it's a really crappy joke. So, that's done sealing. We're going to pop it up. We're going to pull it down a smidge. Close the lid. And seal again. Dun, 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 dun. Now, for these upper bags, if you will, uh, they're not going to be need to nearly be as big. So... Um, probably we're going to want it big enough so that we can actually vacuum seal it so that I would say mm, nothing smaller than about that right there and what we're going to do we're going to cut that we're going to separate these two pieces now we've got a smaller bag what I'm going to do with the smaller bag obviously we're going to put the sugar in it. I don't spill it all over the place. Whoa. I suck. You can say it. You suck, Mike. I'll fully accept it because I do. And I'm not quite sure that uh, that bag is going to be big enough. See? See, that's why I'm saying you have to be careful, otherwise you're going to be wasting and don't want to be wasting and so uh, I am going to go ahead and make a little bit of a longer one because I don't think that's going to quite be what we need. Let's get that there and let's get a seal going. While that's going, I'll try to get a little bit more of our sugar back. You know, gotta be the sugar daddy here. Okay, seal number one's done. Let's unlock it, raise it, scoot it, just a smidge. Close it, lock it, seal again. And we're done sealing. And so that wasn't long enough, we decided. So I'm actually going to use the other side there to make sure that I don't make the same mistake again. Now that should be plenty. Let's go ahead and cut that. Try to set this down in a manner that it doesn't fall over and make any more of a mess than I've already made. All right. Got this pulled apart. We're gonna dump our sugar into there, into the bigger bag. See how many YouTube channels would have had to have gotten the screw up out of the video because they couldn't stand the idea that you might see that they're human just like everybody else. Know what I mean, Vern? And then dump our cinnamon in there like so. Just like so. Now this might wind up being a little bit bigger than uh, the need be. See, there's plenty of room to get it sealed without anything getting in the way. And that's what I'm, I'm focused on. So start a little high because we're going to double seal this as well. Lock it down. And this time we're going to choose vacuum and seal. We'll 
let it seal good. Okay. And then we're going to pop it up and we're going to double seal it just like we did the other. Just like that. Pop that up. I'm going to take our bag. We're going to slide it down in with our oats. Just like that. And then we just want to make sure that we're not going to be caught in that seal, which we're fine there, I do believe. Get it to go down just a little bit more. Just make sure you don't get this caught, the other bag caught in your other seal. Because then that's going to cause a problem. You're not going to seal properly. So, right there, we are certainly plenty good. So, I'm going to close our lid down, lock it. We're going to hit the vacuum and seal again. Let it seal. Okay, pop it out. I'm gonna put a double seal on it like before. And there you have it. Now see, right there is a very inexpensive breakfast for your bug out meal that would pair up nice with beef stroganoff and noodles or chili mac with beef, right? And I'm not saying at the same time, but you have your oats for your breakfast. You got plenty of sugar in there. That's gonna help on the energy and all the other good stuff you need. Uh, oats is a good, good, cheap option to be able to put in your bug out bag. And so this will just help you, you know, stretch things out a little bit more. Doesn't take up a lot of room, doesn't have a lot of weight to it, and again, it's as inexpensive as it gets. Now, it might not be good enough for the bare independence or the magic peppers or the pinball preparedness preppers out there, but uh, it's good enough for the girls that I go with, as Dad used to always say, and uh, you know what? I'll eat mighty fine on some oats in the morning and some beef stroganoff and noodles in the evening. Anyway, just an idea. Hopefully somebody takes me up on this idea and expands their bug out bag diet. Anyway, just a cheap idea I came up with when I was thinking about it again without adult supervision. And uh, hopefully I learned you something. Have a great day. Shalom.